So welcome to Harris Broadcast First Ever Media Day. For the past decade, we've been tucked inside this company called the Harris Corporation. And thanks to the Gores Group, we're now a standalone company with more than 1,500 employees, with more than 3,000 customers spanning 185 countries. For Harris Broadcast, the network of the future begins right now. Well, I'm excited to unveil Imagine Communications and Gates Air, two companies that share common customers, though innovating on different ends of the technology spectrum. Imagine will focus on media software and IP networks, while Gates Air will focus on high-efficient TV and radio over-the-air solutions. Everyone here at Imagine is excited and committed because we have the products and because we have the technologies that we're going to be able to build on top of in order to realize this vision, and because we have the plan, because we know what we're going to do to ensure the success of this vision. The ability to go focus on the wireless broadcast market for radio and TV around the world allows us in Gates Air to not only capture the energy and, and capabilities we have within our teams, but to be able to better connect with our customers. I, I am truly humbled to be here today. My grandfather would be thrilled. And on behalf of the Gates family, I can just tell you that we are honored with the return of the Gates name and wish for the greatest success for both Imagine Communication and Gates Air. Thank you. Well, thank you. I think we have what the content wants in consumer, and we're ready to move and go with them wherever they go. But we can't do this alone. We need the help, the innovative power of companies like Imagine and Gates. Gates Air makes the best radio and television transmission equipment in the world right in our hometown, and we're really excited about the announcement today. It brings the new, the new name brings it full circle for us, and we look forward to continuation of a partnership, as you'll see in just a moment, has gone on for almost 75 years. And I think the new kind of goal for the industry is to provide innovation in a moment of consumption. I think that's the new objective. And with the solutions we're working on and, and the partnership with Charlie and his team, I'm very much excited about the future. How important would you say the American living room is to the video TV environment today? I think their iPhone or their whatever smartphone they have, their tablets, their laptops are their primary source of viewing. And the family room TV, which unfortunately for, for mom and dad and the family is, is really the, the last place that this next generation is watching TV. So does, what does that mean? It, it means that you know, suppliers like Imagine and Gates Air needs to make sure that everything we're doing is in concert with you know, sort of this uh, multi-screen TV everywhere kind of uh, mindset so that you know, wherever folks are gonna watch you know, TV, uh, we can provide them with the best experience. How many, much resources do you think you'll c continue to put into molding TV? We've made already one acquisition um, as it relates to our interest levels in encoding and transcoding and, and now a dipped, a, adaptive bit rate. And I, I think you're going to see us doing more, both organically as well as um, some strategic activity there. A lot of sports mentioned today, a lot of stuff about how it's leading innovation in a lot of the both sides of the market here. 
you're going to have a lot of customers on both sides, on the Gates Air as well as the Imagine. I mean, how can you maybe alleviate any concerns that your sports clients might have of splitting these two, and how are you going to try to cater to that side of the business? This decision was very deliberate, and, and it wasn't that we don't love either one of the businesses. They're just two very different technologies. What we want to do over time is truly separate these two companies to where they can truly be independent, standalone companies.